Hey guys, it's Monsi. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to my videos. Do you guys know what today is? It's like almost the end of July. Summer's coming to an end and then the school year's going to start and then you know it's school, you have your friends, your teachers, your classmates, your frenemies, your bullies, drama and gossip. But hey, you know, that's the school. That's the school year. So today I'm going to be sharing a crazy story from 7th grade where a classmate actually said, don't even let me catch her in the hallway. I am going to kill Monsi. I am going to murder her. And my mom did end up having to get the police involved because it was really, really crazy and it got so out of hand. This, ha this happened, like I said, in my seventh grade year. I'm going to call the girl Sarah, her friend Sasha, this other girl that got involved, Aqua, my friend Lisa, and this, my best friend at the time, who is not relevant to the story, Lulu. And I didn't really know Sarah all that well. Like, again, I had like three classes with her, but she was just one of those bad girls that I decided not to associate with. She would always get in trouble for back-talking teachers, not doing her homework, skipping class, and just doing a bunch of crazy stuff that she shouldn't even be doing. And eventually she just starts talking bad about me, but... Again, she was friends with Sasha, and Sasha was one of the meanest girls. Like, she was very smart, but she was one of the meanest. Like, she would literally, in elementary school, tell me to go kill myself. And she would actually, she found out where I lived and would actually go to my front door and tell and make fun of me for because she thought I liked this one guy. And literally tell me to kill myself, which, an elementary school girl, really. And, like... At times they would talk bad about me, but I would just ignore it. And I would do this to my hair a lot. Just checking it for split ends because I was bored. And they came up with a rumor saying that, oh, I talked to my hair, that I talked to myself. Like, I'm so weird. Let's just make fun of me for it. And you guys can't see this. I wear glasses, but, you know, I don't show my face. So you can't see it. But my dog had a litter of six puppies at the time. And I left the glasses on the coffee table, and the puppies ended up chewing up the glasses. And it was one day in a class, in a math class, where I had to return a library book. And if I was able to return it that day by a certain time, I wouldn't have to pay any fine or anything. So I immediately chose, I just left my glasses on the desk because I didn't need, I didn't need them to walk around the, hall, the hallway or anything just to see the board and to read a book. So I just went to quickly return it. By the time I got back, which was, by the way, less than five minutes, Sarah has my glasses in her hand. She's collapsed on the floor, like, trying to catch her breath. And the whole class is laughing at me just because I chewed up my glasses or because I ate my glasses. Even the teacher was like, is this thing yours? Like, is this junky thing yours? You were junky. And I'm like, yes. I'm like, can you just get my glasses? It's not funny. Like... I don't even know if I told her that my dog ate my glasses or, or that my puppy ate my, ate my glasses. And she would tell people that I was a lesbian because she thought I was staring at her once, which I was just looking at the clock. But she thought I was staring in her direction. And she starts telling people that I'm a lesbian, so literally this girl's just spreading rumors about me. And I had enough of her. And she was actually mean to Lisa as well, which is how Lisa and I met. She would be like, oh, hey, Lisa, they invented this thing. It's called shutting your mouth. And Lisa would be like, yeah, I know. Maybe you should be the one to start. And I didn't even know Sarah's actual name at the time. I didn't even know if her name was actually Sarah because she had so many nicknames. And one and one day in our second class, which, which was actually before our math class, not right before, but before our math class, this girl, Aqua, asked me, hey, do you like Sarah? And I'm like, Sarah tells people I'm a lesbian. I think I know what she means. And I'm like, no, she's such a brat. She's such a baby. She's the B word. And Aqua told Sarah, like, she had texted it to her, but I didn't realize that her phone was in her hand. Oh, she said you're a bitch. Yeah, she said you're a bitch. And... Because Sarah had read the text message and everything, she was like, she stands up like at the end of class, Monsu, what did you say to me? I am going to murder you. I am going to kill you. Don't even let me catch you the hallway. Come say it to my face, Monsu. I am going to kill you. And like, I was actually, yes, I was afraid Sarah was actually one of those words, those really bad kind of girls. Like, 
Again, she was known for starting fights around the school. Sorry about this. Okay, great. Sarah was actually one of those really bad kinds of girls. Like, she would actually start fights with, like, a lot of people. One day, it was right after school, She's, she and some other girl got into a fight. One of the girls, like, pulled out a lighter and, like, nearly set the other girl on fire. Like, she tried to set the other girl's hair on fire and then set the girl on fire. And, like, the school deputy ended up having to pull them apart, I believe. So I told my parents about what had happened. My mom was so scared, and she actually ended up getting the police involved, like, the school deputy involved. And he, he didn't know my mom personally. He was a regular where she was working. So she tells him, and then the following day, Aqua had said some stuff to me, but I'm like, she's going to get in trouble at the end. So he calls me into his office. He, he interviews me first, like, you know, what's going on, has me fill it out. He asks me, you know, are you friends with Sarah? I'm like, no, I wouldn't even be friends with her if she was the last person on earth. Like, my best friend is Lulu, and he's like, well, this stuff happens between best friends because they know so much about each other. How does Sarah know so much about you, or why does she say you're a lesbian, and you know, all that? By the time he calls her in, he has Aqua write, write up a report about what happened, and you know, why she's, like, why she did what she did. It's crazy, and, uh, and he had to stand next to each other, and we were refused to, and he's like, if you don't stand each other next to each other now, I'm gonna make you guys hug, and we immediately just stand next to each other, like, touching each other, like, touching the our arms touching yeah he, ha he has us look at each other i can't even look at this girl and he's like so why are you saying that she's a lesbian if she can't even look at you she's always staring at me she can't even look at you now how is she always staring at you so he had us explain ourselves and we both had to sign a bullying contract you know he explained to her like she's embarrassed to wear her glasses to school which if you know if you have glasses you don't get your immediate pair right away it takes time so i had i was embarrassed to wear them but i eventually did and yeah, I eventually got my spare, or my replacement pair, but, like, you know. And he did, there was a stabbing in a nearby city from where we live, and he's like, you know, how do you know Monsi wouldn't have, wouldn't be able to fight you? Like, look at her, she's a punk, but, you know, there's self-defense, and for threatening to kill somebody, for threatening to murder someone, you could face so many years in juvie, like, basically just explaining, like, the punishments she could get for threatening to kill somebody and like she was a foot taller than me i'm 4'11 sarah was like 5'7 just in middle school so she was more than a foot taller and like, like again sarah could have easily killed me and he's basically just telling us the consequences we could have faced for our actions he wasn't gonna let us press charges on each other we both had to sign bullying contracts and, you know, he was like, okay, from the kid that killed his bully, do you think that, do you think he knew he was going to die that day? Do you think his family knew they were going to lose a loved one? Think about what you girls have done. Think about what you guys have said to each other. Like, again, we came to the agreement eventually that I would try to help Sarah in all her classes as long as I saw her putting in the effort. And it's just crazy. As long as I saw her putting in the effort, I would try to help her, but I wouldn't let her copy off. But I would try and help her throughout the subjects. And the reason why is, again, she was upset that, you know, it felt like I was barely trying and I always got good grades. But no, I actually put in the effort. But that I was always getting good grades. And she figured if she was going to fail, she might as well have fun with it. So, and I haven't heard from Sarah. The last time I saw her was out in public at, like, a fair but I didn't even say hi to her or anything. I didn't speak to them. She was with a friend. But anyway, that's the end of the story. Thank you guys so much for watching. Oh, and as for the teacher, she did have to face consequences. I don't know what consequences she faced, but basically because she was allowing bullying and like m murder threats to happen in her classroom, she did end up having to face consequences. I don't know what, but thank you guys so much for watching. I guess that's the end of the story. Lesson learned, please be nice to each other and don't say you're going to kill somebody. Don't tell other people to kill themselves and don't be mean to people just because. And anyway, I hope you guys enjoy the story. Please learn from it. Be nice to each other. I hope you guys enjoy your middle school years. Come on, they seem long, but they're very short. And I hope you guys enjoy the story. Have a nice day. Bye.